Are you ready to take control of your form submission data? Well, let me show you how with our suite of free data management tools. Hey, job formers, welcome back. I'm Kimberly. And as you can see, I am currently in the features landing page for form submissions. Now in this video, we're only going to cover just a few of these topics. So make sure you come back to this features landing page because there's really a lot of information that you can dive into to really understand and utilize your form submission data. So let's head to my dashboard. Now, before we jump into our tables, I want to chat a little bit about assigning forms because that kind of goes into submission data as well. So for this, we're going to look at our picture attachments. Let's go ahead and edit form. I'm going to head up to publish. Then on the left hand side, we see assigned form. So we can see here that this form is assigned to someone. So if I click on this, we can see who it is assigned to, we can see when their last submission was, and if we need them to fill it out again, we can choose these three dots and send a reminder email. Now, from this view, we can view their submissions right here, view submissions. So let's go ahead and click on that. Perfect. This is going to allow us to see every single submission that the person that I assigned it to has filled out. Now from here, let's go ahead and jump over to our tables to see everyone else who has filled out this form. So in the top left hand corner, I'm going to click on inbox. We're going to choose tables. And here are the rest of those submissions. Now from this view, we can do a lot of different things. So we can download all of these submissions. So over on the right hand side, we can choose to download all and we get to choose what that looks like. It can be a CSV, Excel, PDF, or we can just download the attachments right here. And we can do that same thing over on the left hand side. We can click on these three dots, then down here, download, and then the same menu appears. Now, if we want to download very specific submissions, we can choose this. Then on the right hand side, we can see it says download one. But again, we can click on those three dots here, then download as a PDF. We can customize that PDF as well. And then we can also download the attachment. Now, another thing that we can do from here is we can share these attachments, maybe to a coworker or someone else who is going to be needing access to these submissions. In the top right hand corner, we have this share option right here. And as you can see, it is currently a public table, which means that anyone I share it with will be able to see it. So we can either copy this link and send it one on one or we can add their email right down here below. Now, if you have a website and you are collecting data to be shared publicly and you would like to embed this submission table on your website, all you need to do is click this embed option, copy the code, and then paste that code in your website. But let's go ahead and X out of this. Now, another thing that we can do with this data is we can turn this into a report for us. So in order to do that, I'm gonna head up to the top left-hand corner. We're gonna choose tables, report builder. And from here we get to title our report and we get to choose what type of report we want. If we want it blank, extended or compact. For this example, I'm going to go ahead and choose the extended report and let's just go ahead and call this report. We'll choose to create and you can see it automatically populated kind of like a presentation style report. Now over on the right hand side, we get to see what each one of these looks like. Perfect. And the great thing with this is if you would like to add elements to your report to really make it your brand and your own, you can do that as well. Now, one final thing I'd like to show you, let's go ahead and head back over to our form builder. Let's head to settings and then our emails, and we're going to create a password protected PDF. So for this, we're going to choose the autoresponder. So the one that JotForm sends to the person, let's go ahead and click on the pencil. We'll choose advanced and right here, attach PDF to email. So let's go ahead and choose yes. Do we want to enable a PDF password? Turn that on. We can put our password there and we're good to go. Now, like I mentioned, there's a lot of other information in that features landing page. So make sure you check that out. If you have any other specific questions, definitely leave them down below in the comments. And if you like this video and you got some value, hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe and turn on the bell so you get a notification every time we put out a new video. I'll see you next time.